Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Today in day 6 part 4, which is the last part for functions, we will talk about function types. Nested function, function types, and parameter types, and more. Okay, so we create an, uh, you know, playground and uh, we start to use it. So let's go to our reference, which is uh, swift.org, language guide, functions, and, uh, you know, subject function type. So every function has a specific function type made up of the parameter types and the return type of the function. For example, here we go. So let's put this to function here and also I try to run it to see yeah, okay it's ready and uh, so this example defined two simple mathematic function called add two ints and multiple two ints these function each take two ints value and return an int value which is the result of performing an appropriate mathematic operation the type of both this function is int comma int actually a tuple uh, you know get int and, int and return int this can be read as a function that has two parameter both of uh, type integer and return value of type of integer so this is the type of this function okay so not int this later you will see that you know in the closure we made a closure exactly with this and here's uh, actually closure is same function. Just uh, let's just me open a parenthesis and just say closure is same function, just with just with different syntax. Okay, don't worry about that. We will go over that and all detail like function. Anything you know, we will go for, over all details and we try to look at you know any angle for uh, opening for you for your interview. Here is uh, another example for a function with no parameter or return value. So this is a, another one. So here you go. The type of this function is this or function that has no parameter and return void using function types you use function types just like uh, any other types in Swift for example you can define a constant or variable to be of so constant or variable so it could be constant well, to be of a function type and assign an appropriate function to that variable here we go so we make math function to be type of uh, this which is a function we just uh, spoke about it in upper and we pick up definition from add to ints this guy okay and Excuse me, I lost it. Okay, here we go. So this can be read as define a variable called math function, which has a type of a function that take two ints value and return an int value. Set this new variable to refer to the function called add two ints. This is almost a closure. The add to ints function has the same type as math function variable and so this assign is allowed by swift type checker you can now call the assign function with the name of math function okay so let's try this so i put this here but you will see i get an error why because i didn't define math function yet here you go Use unresolved identifier. Let's do it and see magic of Swift. 
here. So as I'm doing a parameter or property, I can do it. Now it works. Resolve 5. Okay, so so this variable called uh, yeah we'll type of uh, actually here yeah a different function with the same mat matching type can be assigned to the same variable in the same way as for non-function type. Okay, so we can do it in the same way but this one non-function type so result 6 so math function called multiple two ints so we totally change it now it's result is 6 okay so as with any other type you can leave it to Swift to infer the function type when you assign a function to a constant value. Okay, so this is good uh, to know as well. So you don't have to mention that you know what the type is. You can trust that Swift infer infer the function type for you. So as long as you just say another math it just equal add two ints, it will get infer so it let let uh, me go here now I option click and see here you go this is the type just infer by its by Swift uh, by itself okay and yes uh, so function type as parameter type okay so now uh, you can use function types such as this as a parameter type for another function. This enables you to leave some aspects of a function implementation for the function color to provide when the function is called. Here's an example to print the result of math function abo uh, from above. Okay, here we go. So so here we say print math result, which is this one. So I get math function directly to it and uh, with this type. And separately I give a and b and then I give that to my math function. So here you see that you know how it's worked. This example define function print math which is has three parameter. The first parameter is called math function, and the other two are uh, two integer, which gonna go inside the first parameter. Okay, function type as return type. So yes, uh, you can use a function type as a return type uh, of another function as well. So you do this by writing complete function type Im immediately after return. Arrow of the returning function. The next example define two simple function called step forward and step backward. The step forward function return a value one more than its input value and the step backward one less than okay here we go so these two function and here is function called choose a step function backward uh, who, uh, whose return type is int return int so here we go So with this guy, we use backwards and step forward and step back. So if it's backward, we're going to be nil. 
gonna do this, if not gonna do this. You can now use choose a step function to obtain function that will step in one direct or other. So now we can do it by this way. So move near to zero, choose a step function backward current value. If bigger than zero. Now uh, the example above determines whether a positive or negative step is needed to move a variable called current value progressively closer to zero. Current value has an initial value of three, which means that the current value bigger than zero return true causing choose step function backward return the step backward function and a refer to the return function is stored in a constant called move near to zero now move near to zero refer the correct function it can be used to count to you will see just in few lines of code just uh, we use return as a function type we'll get, we do that just come to zero here we go print counting to zero count to zero while current print current value current value equal equal move near to zero Okay, and the last subject, nested functions. So all, all of the functions you have encountered so far in this chapter have been example of global function. Okay, so what that means, means they are available for all, which are defined at a global scope. You can also define function inside the body of other function known as nested function okay so these uh, functions are very available everywhere but if we put it inside body of another function then it's going to be nested function nested function are hidden from outside world by default but can still be called and used by their enclosing function and enclosing function can also return one of its nested function to allow the nested function to be used in another scope okay so this part how you can use it in another scope another question for interview you can review the choose step function backward above to use the return nested function here you go how it work with nested function again come to zero so we got error because we declared that before so now I'm gonna add one one here one one here and one one here to make it indifferent Here you go. So you, you will see choose step function backward. You know, we didn't get error for these guys. Uh, we got error because redefinition, but we didn't get because this is only inside this function available. So I can use it only inside this function. So I'm not gonna get you know conflict. But for this one, I got because it's global. This is not global under this one. Okay, so here return exactly like this and current value <coughs> excuse me now move yeah I need to put one here and yeah while current value is not zero print current value let me put one here one here and one here one here so make it all another value 
Okay, so here you are. Yeah, you will see. Start to counting. And in moving forward to get zero. Okay, let's see if I did that correctly. Oh, here you go, that's why. Let me run it again. Yes, uh, that's it uh, for today. I hope you liked the video. If you like it, please uh, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to be subscribed for more videos which are coming every day. If you have any question, please ask in comment below. And I wish the best for you. Have a good one. Bye-bye.